Imagine a world where the boundaries of engineering and imagination blend into reality. Today, we're embarking on an extraordinary journey to discover the top 10 largest mega projects on Earth. From cities of the future to feats of infrastructure that defy belief, these projects are not just constructions, they are the symbols of human ambition and ingenuity. Right now, somewhere on our planet, a project so vast is underway, it could change the way we live forever. What if I told you that one of these projects involves building an entire city designed for millions without a single car, or a solar power plant so large it's visible from space? As we gear up to explore the top 10 largest mega projects, make sure you're on board for this and more incredible journeys. Hit subscribe now and join us in witnessing the marvels of modern engineering. Now, let's dive into the exploration of the top 10 largest mega projects revealed. Number 1. Neom City. The first largest project on our list is Neom. It is a big project, part of the Saudi Vision 2030 plan, aiming to mix things up in the economy and reduce dependence on oil. This development is led by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. It's not just one city, it's going to be a place with many cities, resorts, and other developments. Neom has four parts, the line, Oxagon, Trojena, and Sindala. The line is a long city stretching 170 kilometers, designed for 9 million people. It's a smart city without cars, streets, or pollution. Oxagon is an octagon-shaped port city planned to sit at the southern tip of Neom, right by the Red Sea. Trojena is going to be a ski resort up in the Sarwat Mountains, north of Neom. It's a big 60 square kilometer area for skiing and outdoor fun all year round. It's even hosting the 2029 Asian Winter Games. Sindala, on the other hand, is set to be an island resort in the Red Sea. Perfect for yacht lovers, this 840,000 square meter island will have an 86 berth marina and lots of hotels for a fantastic seaside getaway. The Public Investment Fund, working for the Saudi government, is the main supporter of this construction project. Nadmi Al Nasir, the CEO of the Saudi development business in charge, says they're putting $500 billion into making Neom happen. Number 2. Dolera Solar Power Plant Dolera Solar Power Plant in Gujarat, India, is a major player in solar energy, one of the world's largest. Covering 11 square kilometers, it boasts a 700 megawatt capacity. Built by Adani Green Energy, the plant uses a mix of fixed and tracking solar panels to soak up as much sunlight as possible during the day. A central inverter system works its magic, converting the direct current from the panels into alternating current, ready to be sent into the grid. Building the Dolera solar power plant came with its fair share of problems. Imagine moving around tons of solar panels, machines, and other gear over a huge bumpy area. The project team, armed with advanced geospatial technology, surveyed the site and strategically planned the facility layout to solve these problems. They even built special roads to make it easier to carry all the heavy stuff. Using state-of-the-art technologies, they also managed to cut down on water usage and fine-tune energy output, ensuring the plant is not just efficient, but leaves a minimal environmental footprint. Number three, Jubail. Two, imagine the Jubail industrial city in Saudi Arabia getting a major upgrade. In the second phase, they're adding 100 industrial plants, a big oil refinery, and one of the largest desalination plants on the planet. This expansion, called Jubail 2, is like giving the city a double dose of growth, doubling in size by 2016. It's not a small feat, it costs $80 billion just to improve the infrastructure. It's set to be the world's biggest civil engineering project ever. The goal is to boost society and support the petrochemical sector. This project will make Jubail Industrial City a lot bigger, stretching over 6,200 hectares. Now, that's some serious development. They're planning a six-lane highway connecting Jubail to Dammam in their transportation makeover. This road is like the project's main hub, making sure everything communicates well. They've also built lots of other roads and trails to link up the smaller towns and areas in the project. Just to give you an idea, during the construction phase, they built over 530 miles of roads and put up 60 bridges. That's a whole lot of building to make sure everything connects smoothly. Number 4. Petronas Twin Towers The Petronas Twin Towers, standing tall in Malaysia, proudly hold the title of the world's tallest twin towers since 1996. They're not just a symbol, but a marvel of architecture, offering endless shopping and touring experiences. 
Back in 1998, on April 15th, the Council on Tall Buildings declared them the tallest globally, passing the torch to a new continent. Interestingly, the developers, a mix of private investors, the Malaysian government and Petronas the National Oil Company, didn't originally aim to beat Chicago's Sears Tower. Their goal was to create a monument showing Kuala Lumpur's importance as a commercial and cultural hub. With the brilliant design of American architect Cesar Pelli, they achieved this with twin towers of elegant proportions, capturing not just the title, but also the public's imagination. Number 5. Lusale City Lusail, Qatar's city of the future, started construction in 2006, way before Qatar was announced to host the 2022 FIFA World Cup. But not many people explored it until the Grand Lusail Stadium became the star of the soccer show. Those who did visit discovered it's more than just a sports hub. Lusail features fancy shopping malls, Thema parks, loads of global restaurants, islands, and two brand new Skyline stars, the Katara Towers, shaped like the scimitar swords in Qatar's emblem, are the Vapi section. They host two super posh hotels, the Fairmont Doha and the Raffles Doha, which is Qatar's first ever six-star hotel. Lusail is still a work in progress with different areas for living and working. The stadium and Lusail Plaza Towers are connected by Lusail Boulevard, where they host cool events. There's a Lusail Museum on the way, designed by Swiss architects Herzog and de Meuron, set to open in 2029. Number 6. South North Water Transfer Project China's South to North Water Diversion Project is the biggest construction of its kind. To quench the thirst of the dry northern regions, they're diverting water from rivers in the south. This massive project has been in the making for 50 years and the construction is expected to be nearly as long. By the time it's done in 2050, it will channel 44.8 billion cubic meters of water each year to the drier northern urban areas. Now, that's a serious water-moving mission. To pull off China's South to North Water Diversion Project, they need three diversion routes cutting across the eastern, central, and western parts of the country. These routes will link up China's four major rivers, the Yangtze, Yellow River, Huaihe, and Haihe. The whole project is expected to cost $62 billion. That's more than twice the cost of the controversial Three Gorges Dam in China. Number 7. Elon Musk Gigafactory Right in the heart of the largest industrial park in the country, just 20 miles east of Reno, sits the Nevada Gigafactory, a massive 5.4 million square foot space. Since 2014, Tesla has been working producing millions of electric vehicle batteries there. Tesla has gone all in, investing a whopping $6.2 billion in this Nevada Gigafactory, making it a key player in their mission to speed up the world's shift to sustainable energy. During the construction phase alone, they created 17,000 local jobs. The team at Gigafactory Nevada has been busy, producing 7.3 billion battery cells annually, along with tons of other stuff. Tesla is investing $3.6 billion more in Gigafactory Nevada, adding 3,000 new team members and building two new factories. One will produce enough batteries for 1.5 million vehicles annually, and the other will focus on their high-volume semi-trucks with impressive electric capabilities. They aim to create a massive battery factory capable of producing batteries for 2 million vehicles each year. Currently, the Gigafactory produces around 37 GWs of batteries yearly, enough for about 500,000 vehicles. Number 8. Marina Bay Sand Sport Amid Singapore's tall skyscrapers, one building stands out, the Marina Bay Sands. This fancy place is more than just a hotel, it's an integrated resort facing Marina Bay and owned by the Las Vegas Sands Corporation. Marina Bay Sands in Singapore made headlines as the world's priciest standalone casino in 2010, costing around $8 billion. It is built on 20 hectares of reclaimed land, one of only two licensed casinos in Singapore, alongside Resorts World Sentosa. Thanks to high Chinese visitor numbers, similar to Macau but without the crowded market restrictions, it has become an iconic tourism destination. Inside, you'll find a hotel with 2,000 plus rooms, a convention center, a mall, a museum, a theater, and a floating pavilion. The highlight is an exclusive infinity pool at the top, the world's largest, but only for hotel guests. Number 9. Chuo Shinkansen Japan's Shinkansen Speedy Train Network covers the whole country and is the quickest way to get around. With the Japan Rail Pass, 
you can hop on nine different Shinkansen lines to reach different places. The Tokaido Shinkansen, linking Tokyo and Osaka, is not only the world's oldest high-speed rail line, but also one of the busiest. It's a big player in Japan's transportation and construction projects, keeping things moving fast and efficiently. Japan is building a new super-fast train line called the Chuo Shinkansen. They want to make travel more efficient and prepare for the future. This new line will use fancy technology called superconducting maglev. At first, it will zoom from Tokyo to Nagoya in just under 40 minutes, that's super quick. Once it's all done, you'll be able to zip from Tokyo to Osaka in about 67 minutes, going as fast as 314 miles per hour or 505 kilometers per hour. It's not just about making travel better, it's like Japan is setting a new record for how fast they can build these high-speed train lines. Number 10. Forest City in Malaysia. Forest City is a fresh urban development in the Iskandar Malaysia Special Economic Zone in Johor, Malaysia. It's made up of four man-made islands covering 30 square kilometers, right in the Johor Strait across from Singapore. These islands will be like a mix of everything, homes, fun spots, businesses, and industrial areas. They're expecting around 700,000 people to call it home. The project is a joint effort between Country Garden Group based in Guangdong, China, and the Malaysian government-backed Esplanade Danga 88. Country Garden owns the majority, 60% to be exact. It's part of the Belt and Road Initiative, a big deal project connecting countries and boosting development. Forest City, aiming to be like Southeast Asia's Shenzhen, has turned into a ghost city with more empty apartments than residents. As we reach the end of our journey through these awe-inspiring mega-projects, we're curious to hear your perspective. Which one of these marvels do you believe will shape our future the most in the coming decade? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Join our community to stay updated on more fascinating explorations like this one.